Hey guys, Quantum Light here with my Spirit Deck Profile. Like, now I know what you guys are thinking. Like, didn't you already do this, like, not that long ago? True. But see, here's the thing. If you look back to my last Spirit Deck Profile, you see that I only had 39 cards in it. Like, not counting the extra deck, but I had 39 cards in the entire main deck. And I didn't know about it until, like, you know, the last minute after I uploaded it. And it was already up there, and nobody seemed to point it out. And I don't think nobody noticed, but even so, I still want to make up for it. Like, I noticed it a little bit later. And now I want to make up for it. I know I should have done it a long time ago, but you know, better late than never, because you know, that saying never gets old. Alright then, let's get started. Starting off with the main deck, of course, is the main searcher, Aratamo, running it at 3. Why sh again, why shouldn't you? It's the main searcher, it's at 3. The double summoner, Nikitama, the second part of the spirit engine. Two Yakshas for balancing the spells and traps in case the, the MSTs don't make it in time. The monster bouncer, which is two Resetsus, like keep, keeping it at two. I know there is um there is a few people out there that suggest that Resetsu is useless. Yeah, he is, I'll admit, he's pretty useless, but uh, more or less, there are times when you cannot destroy a monster. Like, there are times, because you know, how many times have you uh, went up against a Beals or an, a Silent Honor arc? Like, how many times are you going to go up against those kind of monsters where they cannot be destroyed by battle, by card effects? Like, this is one of those reasons why I have Resetsu at two. Because keeping it at 1 for those situations, it's never really going to happen as often. But still, it's good to have it at 2 just in case. And it's to me, it's never really useless. The one using Ami for recycling purposes. Dr. Spirit. And uh, Yamato no Kami. Still keeping that thing at 1. As well as uh, Dr. Spirits. Alright, that does it for the Spirits. Now let's move on to the rest of the monster lineup. Put these away. Since this is a rank 4 heavy toolbox deck... Minus the, the two level sixes you just saw, we're still running three Kage to Kages, the one Gores, and the two Swift Scarecrows. I, I replaced Battlefader with these two, mainly because I usually had Battlefader only for Dark Dust Spirit. And honestly, while they do work in the same way, there are times when it, it got warnings. I was playing against this, uh, this Sylvan player, and he, he attacked me directly, and I activated Battlefader from the hand. He in turn activated. Uh, warning and because of that I ended up losing the duel. Like, I could have gone for strike bouncer and I would have at least stood a chance maybe for a, one turn longer but even so he still got me with that warning I mean, and it's because of that battle fader so I took it out switched it with Swift Scarecrow I haven't looked back on it since. Alright that does it for the rest of the monster lineup now moving on to the spells. Alright as always running two creature swaps I know sometimes people say that it should be at three. Trust me, I know. There are times when I wanted to keep this thing at three. That's why I'm still holding on to a third copy, just in case. Like, I haven't uh, put it in. I haven't thought of a reason why I shouldn't uh, put it at three, but it's there just in case, you know? And because of that, still running two Pot of Dualities, two Forbidden Lances, three MSTs, because sometimes those two Yaksas are not going to cut it, Dark Hole, and Book of Moon. Alright, spell's over. Time for the traps. Oh, regular staple traps. Not much of this deck has changed, actually. Just just to be honest. So it's bottomless. Compulse. Warning. Torrential. Legacy of Yadagrasu. Still running it at 2. 2 Phoenix Chains. I know Breakthrough at this point of the format is pretty useful. But the reason why I'm running Phoenix Chain over Breakthrough is because while they, while the two of them still work work very very much you know the same, and while Breakthrough can be used twice, making it like you have four monster negations, the reason for it is because these are spirits, and we all know that spirits go back up to the hand at some point once the once the turn is over, and because of that we lose field and presence. Like imagine if we had uh, Phoenix Chain face down. No, imagine if we had Breakthrough. I'm sorry. Imagine we had Breakthrough face down. And Nikitama or Aratama, let's go with Aratama, uh, was bounced back to the hand during the end phase. That right there means that you have, you literally have no more, uh, no field presence. And because of that, like, your opponent does something, like, yeah, you can activate that breakthrough, but that breakthrough is only going to help you so far. Now, while it can stop your opponent from activating monster effects, only for that one monster, Phoenixian does the same thing, except breakthrough doesn't stop him from attacking, meaning that once your field is clean, and you got nothing to protect yourself with except for that one phase down, which is the breakthrough, your opponent can still attack you directly. Whereas Phoenix Chain can still put them to a halt. 
and that's pretty much the reason why Phoenix Chain is being run over here, except for uh, Breakthrough Skill, over Breakthrough Skill, I'm sorry. And last but not least, 2D Prisons. I know I should have this thing at 3. I'm thinking about it, because as you saw the Book of Moon, I might, tech, I might take that one out and add a third D Prison. Still not sure yet, because there are times when I still do need that uh, Book of Moon, but D Prison is starting to see a, a big rise in play since it got hit to 3. So, um, maybe we might do another update for that, just in case. You never know. Alright, extra deck time. Again, not much has changed. It's just uh, maybe a little little something different here and there. Aside from that, you know, that's it. King of the Feral Imps, Search for that Kage, Fairy Cheer Girl, Photon Butterfly Assassin, Diamond Dyer, Maystroke, Exiton. Oh, let me fix that up. Utopia, still. Black Ship, uh, Master Kibio. I took the second one out, it wasn't really needed. Like, I rarely went ever went into the second one. Heartland Draco, 103, 101, 104. Violin to because it's still pretty useful. Like I love running these two guys. Like I really do, it's especially uh, Masquerade. And I really should do a discussion video on him and why he's so underrated. But you know that that'll be for another day. And last but not least, Photon Strike Bouncer. Like I rarely go into him because I only have two level six monsters, but but still, it's good to have it in there because you know more monster negation. <laughs> it kind of makes up for the lack of breakthrough skill in a way. All right, let's just put this right here and these guys up front. And that right there is my spirit deck profile. Uh, pretty short, yeah, because you know it was just a little bit of an update. Not much has changed since the last one because you know the last one had thirty nine cards and there were some cards I had to take out because they were no longer needed. And I wanted to just, you know, update it. And ever since Primal Origins hit, like, there was a little bit more, you know, consistency there. So, yeah, I mean, we might do another update, but hopefully not anytime soon. Because, you know, now I know. And yes, people, I've checked. I've checked. It's got 40 cards, 15 in the extra. No worries there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, okay? I'm always open to for, uh, for more card ideas. Maybe there might be some suggestions that you guys want to drop by. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Lights out.